The Vietnam War defined a generation. It changed the lives of people who fought in it, those who fought against it, and the families of both. My name is Bruce Nagel. I live in the community of White Shill, North Dakota. It's part of the Fort Berthel Reservation. I was in the Marine Corps from active duty, 1970 to 73, at the rank of E-5 Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. My years in Vietnam was from 72 to 73 and we were activated from Iwakuni, Japan in 1972 as a rescue mission because the North Vietnam had broken the Geneva Convention and had reinvaded re South Vietnam. So we were sent to check them. By the time we got there, they had overrun most of the bases along the DMZ in North Vietnam. So when we flew in, they moved back across the DMZ, which we could not follow them. So I ended up being stationed in South Vietnam at a Vietnamese Air Force base called Ben Hoa. But anyway, when we landed in Ben Hoa, we were greeted by 87 Russian-made rockets. Uh, they were exploding on the tarmac and the flight line when we landed. The tailgate dropped open and all of us were told to hit the deck and we low crawled out of the airplane and across the flight line to these bunkers. And that was my initiation to Vietnam. I would say every other week we were getting rocketed. Sometimes it was only three or four. And then other times it would be like 20, 30 rockets would come in. They harassed us all the time we were there, and you couldn't tell when. All you know is when you heard the sirens go off, that's when you hit the deck and went running for the bunkers, sandbags. Well, the cliche you hear about is very true there. You spent hours, days, weeks of sheer boredom, and then 15 seconds of terror, you know, when the rockets would come in.